Hello and welcome to another hashtag love summer art event. My name is Irma and today I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful um, summer card. It's a note card and the theme is the beach. Very appropriate for love the love summer art hashtag event. <clears throat> what we're going to do first is we're going to quickly make our starfish. I'm going to take a regular piece of uh, brown paper bag, cut out a piece, all right? And again, it depends on how big you want your starfish to be. Now, starfish do have texture, so we're not going to just take this brown paper bag and, and cut it and start making our star sh our starfish. What we need to do is really crumple it up really good. Okay? And then you open it up. After you open it up, I would say that you take uh, shades of gold or yellow acrylic paint and using a natural sponge or if you're going to use a thin a synthetic sponge make sure it's got lots of nice little holes do not wet the sponge take the dry sponge dab it into the paint and stipple your pa your paper once it's dry then what you want to do is you want to take your you want to take your stamp pad, I'm going to be using brown. And you're going to, I, remember this is dry. You're going to take it and rub it across your paper. Now when I say this is dry, I'm talking about the paint. Alright, you do not want to you do that technique on a piece of paper that has uh, wet acrylic on it. All right, then now the next step is to turn it around and draw a star. Once you have drawn your star, then you can start to cut it out. I have already started to cut out one for the sake of time. And you don't have to really follow the lines perfectly. Remember, it's a starfish. It doesn't have to be a perfect twinkling star. Now, I'm going to turn around, or turn it around, and round off all of my five points. Okay, once you finish doing that, if you'd like, you can go ahead with some kind of distressing uh, instrument. Well, not distressing instrument, but um, your distress ink or maybe some chalk and try to outline this in a darker brown. This will help it stand, stand out. Now... You might want to add your lines to your starfish. Now what I did, and let me explain how I continued making this card, is I took, I took obviously, my blue cardstock. I cut out some sandpaper. I cut out a, basically a square. It doesn't have to be a perfect square. A tra uh, rectangle, okay, and it could be, you know, like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. And at an angle, I glued it, glued it onto my cardstock. I then proceeded and pasted or glued my starfish on it. Then. To add more interest to my card, I made my clam. Let me show you quickly how I made my clam. 
I took a piece of gray cardstock. I cut it in such a manner, making what appears to be a, a triangle, but the triangle has its top cut off. I rounded off my uh, corners. Okay. And then I proceeded to try to add, oops, without tearing it, of course, try to add a little bit of, uh, oh, I don't know, dimension. Maybe that's the right, the right, correct word. Let me switch you on to this one. This one I had already done that technique by curling it. Okay, this one doesn't have its, um, its points rounded off. Let me just do that quickly. Once you've done that, then the fun begins with this because you will take it. And let's move this in a little closer so you can see a little better. You take your and you make those lines that the shells have, you know, oysters, clams. Oops, there you go. Once that's done, you glue it onto your card, making sure that when you glue it, you're leaving a little opening here, just like what clams usually have. Get your pearls, glue them on, and you've got a fun summer card. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.